Hello, my name is Stephanie Gobby, and for my Community Nutrition Project, I have designed a corporate wellness program. For my program, a large successful company has been having to pay high fees for their employees' medications, particularly ones that treat hypertension and high cholesterol. Stress, poor nutrition, and low physical activity at the workplace can lead to significant health problems like hypertension, high cholesterol, diabetes, and heart disease. I need to create a worksite wellness program that will result in healthier employees and help reduce the amount of medication fees over time. The cafeteria currently lacks a variety of healthier food options. Fast food has become too heavily relied on and workers have developed high cholesterol from this. More fruits, vegetables, and whole grains are needed, among other healthy alternatives. The cafeteria also does not cater to those who have cultural diet restrictions. Some cultures restrict their followers from eating meat, gelatin, gluten, dairy, and etc. We need to have more alternatives for these people so they can enjoy eating healthy in the cafeterias too. One of the corporate wellness programs that have stuck out to me recently is Fitbit. Fitbit promotes corporate wellness by asking companies to purchase their product for employee use. There are many pros to Fitbit. It monitors steps taken, miles walked, calories burned, sleep, water consumed, and weight loss. Another thing is that it reminds you to get moving when you've been sitting for too long. But one of the cons is that it can be very expensive of upwards of $100 or more, which might be a downside whenever you're trying to get employees to start moving around but do not have the funds to cover that. My alternative to the reminder feature of a Fitbit would to have hourly break reminders at the office. Every hour, the employees will be notified that it is time to take a mandatory five minute break. During this time, they are required to do stretching exercises and walk around. It is very important to have good blood flowing. These hourly breaks will help with that. Another thing that it can reduce employees' sitting time are adjustable desks. Adjustable desks are able to raise in height so that people can stand while they are working. It helps improve blood circulation, prevents fatigue, and boosts energy. It also decreases the back pain you would experience while sitting. And it helps you lose weight considering you are burning calories while standing. All of these help reduce the risk of medical problems like hypertension, diabetes, and heart disease. Alongside adjustable desks are medicine balls. Medicine balls are a great alternative to chairs because they can improve posture and spinal alignment. Balance is necessary when sitting on these medicine balls, and maintaining balance will actually build core strength. Regular desk chairs are often resulting with the person slouching when sitting, but medicine balls force the person to sit up straight and maintain good posture. Another important aspect that a workplace should include is a mini gym where they can offer physical fitness classes like Zumba or spinning. Zumba is a dance class that was created as a great way for people to have fun while working out. And spin class is a great aerobic workout on bikes that can be quite challenging. In summary, I want my wellness program to incorporate healthier food options in the cafeteria and also provide alternative options for those who have diet restrictions. I also want to implement hourly reminders for employees to take mandatory five minute walking and stretching breaks. We should also provide adjustable desks and medicine balls for each employee to use. Lastly, I want a little gym installed so that group fitness classes can take place like Zumba and spin. For the evaluation of my wellness program, after six months, I will compare the amount of medication fees the company currently pays for to the amount that they will pay for after the program was implemented. If the amount of medication fees lowers by at minimum 20%, then my program worked and should continue. If it did not, then the wellness program should be revised.